If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, in this video, we are going to see how you can leverage AB tool to benchmark your application or your HTTPD server. I'm going to cover what is AB and then we are going to see how you can install in Linux. And then we are going to set up the test environment and we are going to see some frequently used commands and then a quick demo where we will be benchmarking simple Nginx application. AB is a Apache HTTP server benchmarking tool where you can benchmark how many requests your server can handle. It is primarily created to benchmark the HTTPD server and its settings, but you can use it for pretty much any valid URL. It is easy to get started. It is fast and it is very minimal. You don't see the bells and whistles of pretty much uh, any GUI tool, but easily you can benchmark your server by stress testing your application. Now let us see how you can install in Linux. You can use the apt install apache2. So this will install your ab tool and then you can verify the installation using the ab hyphen capital V, which will display the version. And for Windows, there is no official uh, binaries available only the source code, but unofficially you can download the HTTPD from Apache Lounge or you can use Bitnami or WAM server or XAM server. Now let us see how we are going to set up for this demo. I'm going to use Ubuntu Flavor and I'm going to spin up two EC2 instances on AWS. So one primary node is to uh, run the AB tool. So do not run the AB tool wherever you have the application hosted. So run it separately and in another EC2 instance, I have installed a simple Nginx and then we are going to use the AB tool to launch the URL and then we are going to uh, stress test it and then we are going to benchmark how many requests it can handle. So there will be two nodes, the primary node to uh, run the uh, benchmark, secondary node where the application has been hosted. Now let us see frequently used commands in AB. So there are two tags. It's pretty much important. One is the number of requests using hyphen N tag and hyphen C is to mention the concurrency. So using hyphen N, you can specify how many requests you want to perform and hyphen C helps you to indicate the concurrency of your requests. And other tags such as time limit where you can set the time to max in seconds and if you want to debug you can use the hyphen v and if you want to send some custom header you can use hyphen h and if you want to send the request over proxy you can use hyphen x there are more than 15 uh, tags are there which we are going to see it in a demo so this is the uh, simple uh, ab command where we are sending thousand requests with the concurrency of 100 to the uh, local host url now it's time for a quick demo. Let us see how we can use AB to benchmark our server. So in left side, I have the one AWS EC2 instance, which has the uh, AB tool. As you see, the AB version is version 2.3 and other information. And the right side, we have an Nginx up and running. Using the IP info uh, curl command, you can get the public IP address. So now if you visit this public IP address, you can see the Nginx. So here you can see the title, welcome to Nginx. So we are going to benchmark this Nginx URL, basically how many requests this particular box can handle, what is the response time and other details. To monitor the performance, so I'm going to use a htop. So htop will display the CPU, memory and other uh, details. We are not going to monitor the response time. Primarily, I'm going to see the system performance. Now let us start a simple uh, test using the ab command and hyphen n. I'm going to mention uh, 10 requests and with the concurrency of 10. And then you have to pass the uh, URL. Now, if you just hit enter, it will run and then it will display the statistics and if you just scroll up you can see the version and some information text here and the server software so this is where our application is running ip address 
port number and other details and here you can see the concurrency level 10 time taken uh, for this test is 0 0.003 seconds completed request 10 uh, failed request 0 and other statistics and if you scroll down you can see the uh, connection time and also the distribution so here you can see the time in milliseconds so 100 percentage of the uh, requests falls uh, below uh, 2 milliseconds so basically it's pretty fast now it, let me uh, clear my screen let us uh, start uh, with uh, say 100k requests with the concurrency of uh, uh, 1000 and then let us uh, hit the uh, url and hit enter so now this will uh, start the test and it will uh, display the completed requests and on the right side you can see the cpu spiked up to uh, 84 percentage so basically it is just uh, uh, going uh, between uh, 60 uh, 70 80 percentage and once the test is done it is pretty much uh, back to pavilion so now let us uh, go uh, to our ab tool and let us uh, increase the uh, concurrency and also the number of requests let me add uh, one more zero and let us uh, run with uh, say 1500 requests concurrency and hit enter so now you can see uh, it is uh, displaying the connection reset by peer our nginx is basically it is uh, not able to process the requests now let us wait for a few more moments and then let us start the test again so now i have started the test again it is uh, working fine this time and if you see the cpu uh, 68 uh, 70 80 so it is almost uh, going up and down and then you can see the memory and then uh, you can see the other parameters so now let us wait for this test to be completed and then let us go through the uh, response time and other uh, parameters okay now our test is done and if you just uh, scroll down you can see the concurrency level is 1500 uh, completed requests and failed request is zero which is good and request per second which is almost 7000 requests per second and then time per request is 216 and transfer rate and other details but we are concerned about our response time and if you just uh, uh, go to the end you can see the percentile distribution and basically uh, 95th percentile is around one second and 99 is uh, 1.2 seconds so not just response time is our concern basically we need to validate our cpu memory and other things as well so usually what i do is uh, it is always uh, better uh, to have some uh, uh, baseline number so in this case let us go with uh, say uh, cpu uh, should be less than uh, 60 percentage and then uh, memory also should be less than 60 percentage and uh, disk also should be less than uh, 60 to 70 percentage so using uh, the uh, resource utilization plus you need to correlate the uh, response time so this also you should uh, keep it say uh, in this case let us go with uh, 500 milliseconds and if any of these uh, parameters are violating then you need to uh, deep dive why there is a violation and uh, what uh, optimization can be done to reduce the uh, usage or the response time so this is your uh, first starting point to begin your uh, detective work so since it is a very simple application uh, there might not be any uh, use case to optimize but uh, you can concentrate on the uh, settings you can uh, give some room you can upgrade some uh, uh, cpu power or memory power or change some instance family and so on so again it depends on the application you are working uh, the use case the workload there are various factors influences when it comes to optimization and fixing the performance issues so but this is the starting point and you run multiple times and see the consistency and then you take steps uh, based on your observation but ab tool is a simple efficient and powerful fast tool uh, to benchmark your application so in this case we can benchmark about uh, say 5000 uh, requests to 6000 just to give some uh, room then you can optimize the settings or some hardware or uh, your application then you can baseline the number so this will help you to plan your tests for your future releases now let us see a few more uh, commands so i already listed uh, here let me just uh, show you this so if you want to uh, export the data to the tab separated value you can use the hyphen g command so in this case let me just uh, run this 
So now this will uh, store the run1.csv here as you see and if you just uh, cat out so you can see the uh, tab separated value and similarly you can also export the HTML uh, format and also the CSV format for the CSV format uh, you can use the hyphen E tag and also here I am passing the hyphen H uh, the custom header and if you hit enter you can see there should be some uh, results.csv got generated and you can see the comma separated value and similarly if you want to see the verbose level you can change the uh, number one two three something like that and if you hit enter uh, if you just scroll up you can see the verbose and then uh, you can also use the hyphen w uh, to output in html so let me change the value to hyphen w here and here you can see the uh, html uh, attributes and the tags so this is how you can uh, leverage a ab tool to benchmark your uh, application or server and there are uh, more than 15 comments are available so what are we have seen just a subset but you can also uh, send the proxy uh, some client certificate ssl so those things also you can do uh, please refer the uh, ab hyphen h for uh, more such details I hope this video is pretty useful. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.